The safety stopper is a gas-free tool designed to increase worker safety by getting away from blowing gas when renewing or abandoning gas service tees. Not only will the safety stopper increase worker safety, but it will also save money. A small excavation is required to perform the operation, thereby reducing digging costs. It also eliminates the need for stopple and bypass procedures. The gas-free operation removes the need for personal air supply, saving the cost of bottled air as well as the time it takes for the worker to suit up. Since there is not a release of gas into the atmosphere, then there is no wasted service calls from reports of gas odors. It is simple to use, so training personnel is easy. This video will provide the operational steps on how to use the safety stopper model 3000 BV to renew or abandon 3 quarter inch through inch and a quarter gas service street tees that are threaded into a coupling that is welded on steel main ranging in size from inch and a quarter and greater operating at a maximum of 60 psi. Clean all components of the safety stopper equipment prior to use. Pay particular attention to any o-rings, grooves, and matching surfaces. Any dirt in these areas should be wiped off. Clean the area of the tee where the aluminum disc will be positioned, removing all corrosion and scale so the disc rubber will seal properly. Pay particular attention to the boss of the tee. It is important to make sure all the scale is completely removed and the integrity of the surface is intact. If the boss of the T is severely corroded and surface is uneven, do not attempt the safety stopper operation. Clean the area around the pipe where the chains will contact it. Remove all scale. This will ensure the chains will seat correctly and not loosen when any scale under them is crushed. Also clean the area around the coupling so when the half collars are installed for the T removal process, it will create an adequate seal. Loosen the plug to break the initial seal. This will make the plug removal operation possible. If necessary, use penetrating oil and a long handle pipe wrench to loosen the plug, taking care not to round off the square head of the plug. Select the correct size aluminum disc to match the T size and place it over the boss of the T. Install the base housing on top of the aluminum disc and secure it to the pipe with the chain. To secure the base housing with the chains on one and a quarter, two inch, and three inch main, fit the appropriate sized poly spacer under the main prior to tightening the chains. Make sure the poly spacer is centralized and the chain is placed in the poly spacer's groove. When securing the base housing with double chains, use two poly spacers. To fit the chains, hook each turnbuckle eyelet into the base housing hooks. Fit the chain pin into the turnbuckle J hook. Tighten the chain equally and alternately using the wrench provided in the toolbox until noticeable resistance is felt. Do not completely tighten one turnbuckle before tightening the other. Do not use a longer wrench as this may put too much tension on the base housing. Tap the chains around the pipe lightly with a hammer to ensure that all links lie flat against the pipe. Then retighten the chains. Once the chains are fully tight, fit the ball valve on top of the base housing. Tighten the ball valve until it compresses the o-ring located at the bottom of the threads on the base housing. Make sure to open and close the ball valve to ensure proper operation. Fit and tighten the viewport onto the ball valve and pressure test the entire assembly to mains operating pressure. To pressure test, push on the pressure test assembly and open the chrome plated ball valve. Introduce air through the Schrader valve and test to mains operating pressure. Make sure the gauge relief valve is fully closed. When pressure test is complete, open the gauge relief valve to release the air and remove the pressure test assembly.
Next, remove the malleable plug from the T using the T-handle assembly fitted with the correct size plug removal insertion tool. To remove the plug, fit the plug removal insertion tool onto the T-handle assembly shaft by lining up the shaft dimple with the grub screw. Tighten with the Allen wrench and do not over tighten. Then, Fully retract the plug removal insertion tool into the T-handle assembly housing and tighten onto the ball valve by hand so it compresses the O-ring located at the top of the threads on the T-handle assembly housing. Make sure the chrome plated valve is in the closed position. Push down with two hands to lower the T-handle assembly so it engages the square head of the plug. Begin loosening the plug. Make sure to keep a slight downward pressure on the T-handle to prevent the gas pressure from pushing the shaft up unexpectedly. Retract the T-handle with the captured plug to above the ball valve. Then close the ball valve and bleed off the excess gas. Remove the T-handle assembly. Next, fit the viewport. Use a flashlight and look through the viewport to make sure there are no obstructions within the T so the rubber expander plug can be inserted into the throat of the T. To insert the rubber expander plug, first draw a straight line below the branch. This will make it easier to measure and reference the necessary travel needed to fully expand the expander plug below the branch. Choose the correct size expander plug and attach it to the expander plug insertion removal assembly. To attach the expander plug onto the shaft in order to expand the plug into the throat of the T, hold the expander plug with one hand and with the other hold the end of the shaft. Push the stem end of the expander plug into the hole inside the shaft and then Turn the shaft counterclockwise so the expander plug pin engages into the L-shaped slot. Next, gently turn the small T-handle clockwise until you hear it click. This indicates that the small pin inside the shaft fully engages the dimple on the expander plug and will expand the plug when turning the small T-handle clockwise. Now measure the travel needed to expand the expander plug into the throat of the T by lining up the lip edge of the expansion plug insertion removal assembly with the lip edge of the ball valve. Push to extend the shaft so the top washer of the expander plug lines up below the surface branch. Make sure to keep the shaft straight. Tighten the collar on the shaft to reference the necessary travel. Next, fully retract the shaft and fasten the assembly onto the ball valve. Make sure the chrome plated valve is in the closed position. Hold the shaft in the fully retracted position with one hand and slowly open the ball valve taking care to prevent the shaft from moving upwards unexpectedly. Push the shaft down to the collar. Simultaneously, hold the shaft into position and turn the small T-handle clockwise with two fingers to expand the plug. Tighten until noticeable resistance is felt. Open the chrome plated ball valve and bleed off the excess gas that remains in the service. Once you no longer hear the sound of blowing gas, the service has been successfully stopped. Detach the expander plug from the shaft. First, loosen the shaft reference collar with the hex wrench. Then simultaneously push down on the shaft, pull up on the small T-handle, and turn the shaft clockwise until the expander plug disengages. Then close the ball valve and remove the assembly.
In the unlikely event that the expander plug falls into the T or into the assembly, use the magnet attachment to remove the plug. Simply fit the magnet onto the expansion plug insertion removal tool and fasten to the ball valve. Open the ball valve and push down until it captures the expander plug. Fit the viewport and open the ball valve. Look to check the expander plug has been properly inserted into the throat of the T before progressing to the next step. Fit the extension housing. Fit the appropriate size security plug onto the plug insertion removal tool by placing the square head of the security plug inside the recess square. Fully retract the T handle and fasten onto the extension housing. Open the ball valve, push down and turn the T handle clockwise to tighten the security plug into the T. Tighten until you feel noticeable resistance. The security plug is an added safety precaution to prevent the expander plug from moving when the branch is cut. Next, remove the entire assembly. Using two pipe wrenches, tighten the plug while holding back on the T. The plug will need to be tighter than the T in order to remove the T. Cut the branch close to the chimney of the T using a reciprocating saw or a hacksaw. For larger size tees, it may be necessary to make vertical cuts to trim each side of the tee in order for the tee to fit through the housing during the removal process. Remove any sharp edges with a file. Fit the correct size molded rubber gasket over the severed tee. Make sure the molded rubber gasket is placed around the even surface of the coupling and not over a weld or scale. Take care not to damage the molded rubber gasket. Fit the two half collars around the coupling and around the bottom portion of the gasket. Tighten the half collars using the hex wrench. Make sure the inside diameter ends of the half collars do not pinch the rubber when tightening. Push down with your thumbs to keep the rubber in place when tightening. Next, loosen the teeth to break the initial seal. Fit the base housing over the half collars. Make sure the T is centered within the base housing. Then secure the assembly with the two chains. Fit the extension housing.
fit the ball valve. Then fit the other extension housing on top of the ball valve. Fit the viewport and pressure test the assembly to mains operating pressure. Once pressure test is complete, fit the T-handle assembly fitted with the correct size plug removal insertion tool onto the extension housing. With the ball valve in the open position, push down on the T-handle until the plug removal insertion tool engages the square head of the plug. Loosen the T from the coupling. Once you feel or hear the threads on the T skip, the T is completely removed from the coupling. Retract the T-handle so the capture T is above the ball valve. Close the ball valve and bleed off the excess gas. Next, remove the T-handle assembly with the captured T. Remove the extension housing. Choose the correct size plug to be tightened into the coupling and apply pipe thread sealant. Fit the square head of the plug onto the plug removal insertion tool, then retract the shaft and fit the T-handle assembly onto the ball valve. Open the ball valve and push down on the T-handle until it stops at the coupling. Turn clockwise to tighten the plug into the coupling. Take care not to cross thread the plug and do not over tighten. Bleed off the excess gas. Now close the ball valve and fit the viewport to make sure the plug has been properly inserted. If it looks good and you no longer hear the sound of blowing gas, then the entire assembly can be removed. The operation is now complete.